I didn't get the win, but obviously I had to be really proud of the guys who played today uh, and how just how hard they battled. When when you have games like this, as a coach and as a player, is it one of the more fun games to be a part of where you see everybody just play as free as possible? Well, it was good to see Bones and, and Brandon, you know, get opportunity to play and, um, you know, play at a high level for the most part, you know. And so um, just seeing those guys get a chance to play, you know, I thought P.J. was really good. Um, didn't want to bring him back, but I thought P.J. did a great job as well. Um, but, yeah, overall, just getting our young guys some action. I thought X did a good job as well. And um, like I said, they competed, they scrapped, played hard, um, you know, and had a chance. And then, you know, down the stretch, the game got away from We couldn't make a shot. I think the guys got tired. I think Bones played the whole second half, or, you know, along with Brandon. But overall, I thought he did a good job. Coach, uh, you know, back with Bones, you know, having a uh, big time 37 point performance. Um, he's one of those guys, when he gets it going, he's, he's tough to stop. Uh, what do you think makes it so hard for, you know, sometimes defenses to be able to handle him? Well, because he can shoot the three off the dribble, he can get to the basket, you know, floaters, and um, he's fast, and so he can get by guys. And so um, he can play at all three levels, the three in between, and he can finish at the rim. And so he had his three-point shot going early, which allowed him to open up his drive and get to the basket. Ty, when you have a young team out there like that, how much is that about teaching them as well? I'm a lot about teaching, you know, um, being up six, you know, at seven minutes and Brandon, you know, fouling Booker, you know, sitting him to the line for three. Um, defensively, a couple breakdowns, not talking and communicating at the end, KD gets a three. You know, so those things are just things that they can learn from and get better, um, better with. But like I said, overall, you know, I thought I did a good job of just, you know, being aggressive, attacking the basket, getting to their spots, but defensively taking the challenge. But just having to be, you know, better get into the ball and the pick and rolls. So I thought it was a lot of separation tonight, you know, for Booker and for KD and those guys to get downhill. Coach, you had, like you said, you had standout performances by Bones and Brandon. Um, what does it say about your team depth and how does their performance today, how will that factor into your, your playoff rotation? Yeah, I mean, it means a lot. You know, those guys work every day playing the stay ready games, working individually um, to stay to stay ready for these moments. And you never know what you're going to get called upon. And so um, our, our player development guys do a great job of just keeping those guys ready, making sure they're sharp. And um, you can tell tonight by just the work they've been putting in. Ty, uh, beyond just tonight for, uh, for Bones, there was the big game he had in Chicago. And obviously, he was in your guys' rotation before the trade. What have you seen out of him maturity-wise, mentally, the way that he's handled the situation of being a rotation guy, then being out and kind of having these times where he can show what he can do. Yeah, I mean, just just staying ready. And, you know, Bones, and we all know that he's a talent, you know. And so when you're playing behind James and Russ, you know, it's, it's tough to get on the floor. But he's done a great job of just sticking with it, continuing to keep working, um, putting the work in every single day. And when his name has been called, he's been, he's been good for us. And so, um, you know, he, he loves to compete. He loves to play. But, you know, right now, with the circumstances the way they are, he's done a good job of just handling the whole situation. Um, I know you got two more games uh, left, but uh, the next season we, we already know your opponent. You know we know for sure it's going to be Dallas. Like when does that prep start? Uh, does it start now, or you got to get through these first these games first? I've already started. 